Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Sundays with Sully. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button and the like button, share, and uh, tell your friends about us. We appreciate everybody following to stay in the know with the latest marine tip, techs, and trends. We've got a whole lot of stuff as we're rolling into spring of 22 here, and you're going to want to stay up to date and see the latest, coolest stuff we've got going on in the house here. So, what are we talking about today on Sundays with Sally? We're talking about the Navionics Vision Plus charting into our Garmin MFDs. Now, this is going to apply to the Garmin 43 series, so the 743, 943, 1243 series. This is going to be for your Garmin 8600 series from, what is that, 10, 12, 16, 17, 22, 24. Um, that's what this is going to apply to. And this can be purchased as a SD card right here or can be purchased through the Active Captain app as a one-time purchase, and then it's an auto-renew subscription, and you can download your charts. So if you don't want to mail, you don't want to wait, you know, all that stuff, you can do it right from the app. So before we get too deep into all of this, we're going to work off a couple basic assumptions for this as how this is all going to work. First and foremost, you need to be running version 26.2 as a minimum software. You also need to already have an active Captain app, whether that's on your iPad, your iPhone, your tablet, whatever your device is, you need to have that active Captain app. And assuming your active Captain app has been linked to your MFD, that means you know how to turn on the Wi-Fi for your MFD. That means this system has now talk back and forth, it's been registered and it's all been set up. So those are all the baseline assumptions we're gonna work with here before we go forward. If you don't have any of those things, then go find the next video that talks about how to set up your active captain and all of that. So, all right, we're gonna talk in particular about buying this. You buy this, it comes in this really nice package and we got a nice slide out sleeve and inside of here is a 32 gig SD card and it's got a removable micro SD card in it. If you're working with the 743, 943, 1243, the 8610 through 8616, they all have a micro SD card reader on the back side under that little rubber flap. Uh, so you can put that card in there. If you have a 17, 22, or 24, you should have an external card reader somewhere in your system, and that's what you're going to be working with. So if you've already set up your Active Captain, that means you have an Active Captain card already. It's a little 8 gig card comes with the unit. You're going to want to take that card, get rid of it. Don't use it. It's done. You take it home, format it, do whatever you want with it. You're going to take that 32 gig card, and you're going to take that 32 gig card and put it into the unit and you're going to set that as your active captain card. When you set it, it's going to ask, do you want to format it or skip? Skip, do not format. You want to skip that step. It will then make it your active captain card. You're now going to have to sync your, whatever your device is, to this, re-download your active captain onto that card. The whole reason I'm saying that is, that eight gig card is going to fill up very quickly with the way the current software is set up. For whatever reason, it is not writing to that 32 gig card. I'm sure Carmen is seeing this frustration across the board and they will rectify this. But for right now, take that 32 gig guard card, slam it in there and save yourself some frustration. Once you have all that done, once you've done the active captain, you come into your MFD and uh, you look and it tells us the last, you know, you've got your green arrows on everything and you, everything's looking nice, nice. You can then take your uh, unit and your device has been signed into it. It now knows that there is a subscription for that chart card and you now have the ability to go ahead and download charts. So now we've got our charts here on the screen as we kind of zoom in a little bit you'll start to see that it is grayed out in a certain area and now what this is going to do because we are offline meaning or rather we are online we are offline from this this is going to go ahead and start downloading the charts for the uh, lower cape cod bay area here normally you'd go through and you'd highlight it but 
guess what guys sometimes it just starts grabbing and downloading these charts so we're going to go ahead and let this guy do its thing here and download those charts you see we've got it right there if we click on the blue it's going to come in and it's going to show here again kind of that grayed out area i was talking about and now we're downloading the charts for that area so it's going to go ahead it's going to download that block now you have to remember as this thing's downloading this is a lot of graphic content you have the ability to download the quick draw contours you have the ability to download the raster chart and the most important for most people is the relief shading charts um, so you've got all of that data so my recommendation to you guys don't go out and go wow i'm gonna go you know the big area if you do it do it at home do it and just leave it be because it's going to take a long time to download all that data onto your mfd or rather to your ipad and then it's going to take a long time again to take that from here into here when you get down to your boat it's a time consumptive thing for that first time as you're downloading these charts so just a word to the wise maybe hit up your your key fishing areas at first and do little bits or plan on doing this as a two-step you know at home downloading a chart and then coming back and you know when you get on board your boat you're going to see the, the the time requirements even for this amount of data right here so this is going to go ahead we're going to go ahead and speed this process up as this downloads those charts onto this and then we're going to talk about what the next steps are after we've got that taken care of so let this go and uh, we'll be back momentarily all right, so now that we've got that all downloaded onto our device here, I can kind of show you guys, again, you can see the line we basically cut off at the bottom of Cape Cod there. But you can see we have our relief shading chart. If we go to our mini there, we see we have nav, fishing, raster, and relief shading. So we have all of those charts as these things continue to load into there. We've got all of our different options for that. Um, you know, our fishing chart that's going to have all of our contours, our relief shading, and you'll also notice that the active captain info has also loaded onto these charts. So that is just that simple. We go in here, we download everything onto these charts, and then we can go ahead and we can now go through with the Wi-Fi and connect the Wi-Fi on this. If we go into here, I choose the other Wi-Fi. In our case here, it's called the Garmin Helm. And we connect to that, and then we open up our Active Captain app. And if we go into Boat Apps, it's going to say connect to the Wi-Fi. It's going to search. And then what is actually going to happen here as we bring up this screen, you're going to see that our Active Captain, we've got our date again right there of when it was last updated, and there's one chart to uh, transfer. So now it's going to take a minute between the initial, you know, handshake and the actual time that it's going to send all of that data for the chart over there. And again, like I said, that's part of the subscription process here is every time that your device, you open up your active captain to the public network, it will go out and do a handshake. It will download the freshest data for that day onto the device. And then the next time you take your device and connect it onto here, those updates will then be uploaded. Now those, that's a very small amount of data, you know, 80, 90% of the time, right? Because that's just going to modify or change what is there that is already downloaded for like your relief shading and things like that. So there we go. It's taken that long now. It's just starting the transfer process. Now, again, this is for just one block of the chart. Uh, I'm hoping that as Garmin continues to improve, because that's what they do, they continue to innovate and improve, they'll be able to just select a block like you used to on the Active Captain uh, app. So that way you're not trying to just download, you know you're getting a set area and you can see how many blocks you're trying to download. Remember I talked about is the amount of data that all this is gonna take. If you can visualize what that block is and how big that block is, you'll kind of start to understand how long those things are gonna take. So hopefully that's going to be coming into play here fairly quickly um, as this continues on. Um, something that's worth noting, I know I'm showing you all this. Um, the reason I'm showing you all of this is 
You buy that chart card and put it in, you do not automatically get the charts. You have to download these charts. And as of today, in uh, spring of 2022, you have to do that via the One Helm app and downloading everything this way. You can't go onto your computer like you used to with some of the older Navionic stuff and click on it and download it onto the card and then take that card to the unit and off to the races you went. Uh, for better or for worse, that's where we are with this. So you see, this is a little bit of a time consumptive process, guys. So when you're gonna go ahead and do this, don't do this the morning before a big fishing trip. Don't go lay out, you know, and download the latest charts or a new chart area. If you're planning on leaving the dock at three in the morning, uh, don't do it. Do it the day before. Make sure you've got time. Get yourself a cup of coffee. Do it in the morning on a Saturday or Sunday morning. Nobody's around. And do it that way. Uh, the other thing, the reason I do this on a tablet versus my phone, if you close the app, it is not downloaded to here. So if somebody calls you on your phone while you're in the middle of this, you, get, you, answer, you see an email pop up or whatever, it, it, you walk away, right? Now, because it's my cell phone is uh, cellular connected and Wi-Fi connected, um, you walk away, that stops the process. So this way, this is here, this is just doing its thing, it's sending the chart over there, and it's taken care of, and I don't have to worry about accidentally opening something up, because this is just Wi-Fi between here and here, there is no external uh, communication for that. So that's what's going on, looks like we're about 25%, uh, so again, go ahead, and I'm going to speed this thing up here, and uh, we'll show you guys what it looks like after this step is done. All right, so now that the transfer has been done and taken care of, you look over here at the one chart and it's going to say transfer complete. So now we hit our home icon and we go over to our charts. And if you haven't done any of the charts yet, you'll see that you now have the relief shading. And if you have chosen to select, you also have the raster chart. So if we go to relief shading, and now you're going to see as this thing starts to fill in, you'll notice again, like I said, we only highlighted down to the bottom of Cape Cod Bay there, but you'll see that it has gone ahead and has now gone to south of the vineyard and we've gone over to Newport. So now that is our, we've got kind of a bigger block there. As you see, we scroll around. And you see we still have our area up here. So you can kind of get an idea of why this is so graphics intensive as we go ahead and we zoom in on some of these things. And you start to kind of look at the detail on these charts here. Um, it gives you just an idea. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on there. So not only with that, if we do go into our nav chart here and we zoom out because we're inside the building, it doesn't know where it is. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to zoom out and go back over here you're going to see this blue box kind of around that chart now that is everything that is on the u.s east chart so you have all of this area that you can choose from to download so as we go ahead and we zoom in here and uh, let's give it a second to catch up and let's kind of come in here into portsmouth area for us and what you're going to notice if you've ever used the Navionics app or maybe you've gone from some of their competitors, you're going to notice their chart now has a much more Navionics feel to it with the colors, the shading, and the you know everything going on there. This also gives us not only the relief shading, not only the charts that have this kind of a Navionics feel to them, but it also gives us better auto guidance. Uh, for years now, Garmin's been known for their auto guidance, but it kind of worked off of an algorithm that looked at depth only. It didn't really care about channels and rules of the road and all of those kind of things. Now with this new chart, this is now going to follow the channels. So we've got a much improved auto guidance when you also upgrade to the Navionics Vision Plus card. So that's a lot of stuff to take in for you guys. I realize it. So thank you guys for tuning in. As always, hopefully you found this informative and helpful. If you did, like I said before, hit the like button, subscribe, share, tell your friends about us. Maybe you got some buddies who want to know how to do this, or maybe you fish with somebody that's got these units on their boat and they're not running these charts. Pony up for the subscription. Quick note about the subscription, it's for one year. You get the freshest data for one year. At the end of that year, if you don't re-up, you don't lose your charts, your charts stay the same, you're just no longer getting that freshest data. So 
That's it, guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Thanks for tuning in and checking all this stuff out. And, uh, hell, I don't know what we got going on next week, but tune in and find out with me, I guess. Peace. Peace.